you're listening to Trusting God at All Times, a daily devotional series from Peakland United Methodist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. My name is Linwood Campbell. I'm the Director of Worship and Outreach. And today we have a guest contributor. Good morning. I'm Harriet Dorst, a member here at Peakland United Methodist Church. I have to admit to myself that the beginning of 2022 felt rather sporadic. I was trying to figure out the new normal and that we have been expected to shape our daily lives around COVID. The only thing I could come up with was that I felt like I was dealing with bits and pieces of my day. How to plan for going out? Do I have the right kind of mask? Am I out of sanitizer? Do I keep checking the positivity rate for Lynchburg and Virginia? Do I just be brave and ditch the mask when to get my booster? Every day seemed to revolve around the daily checking of my calendar to be sure the things I am involved in were either meeting in person or by Zoom. Then the issue of always looking for something that was not available at the store, hoping I could find it online, or was it another trip to the store? I have two cats, Mittens and Spunky, and how was I to explain that Chewy.com tells me that the only wet food they will eat is out of stock again. There has been near mutiny in my kitchen some mornings when a substituted can was served. Then the struggle to have someone call back about repairs or things on order. Being told no, can't come, or no reply after several messages. And then when something was scheduled, sorry, it's on back order. Finally realizing two things are still undone and saying to myself, this will have to wait a while longer. All of this mad rush to figure out my day, my week, and my month was leading me to a sort of chaos. I finally had a talk with myself the first part of May that these bits and pieces I was looking at on my daily calendar had begun to take over my life. It was time to step back and look at how this was affecting me. Not good. I resorted to a time of TV binge watching and realized I was spending too much time sinning. I then tried yard work, but the pollen this year was really affecting my allergies more than in previous years. And every time I was out, it rained. Then every time I went back in the house, there was another phone message or email or text message to answer. I finally realized that what I really needed was a time of quiet reflection, a time of renewal of my thoughts, and just being thankful for the simple things of each day. I freely admit that taking time for daily prayer and reflection is not always on my agenda. I have a well-worn book, 365 Affirmations for Hopeful Living by Patricia D. Brown, published in 1992. And after almost 30 years of using it, it is falling apart, and some of the days in each month are missing. Sometimes I just flip the pages until I find a section that catches my attention. And I found one under the topic of trials. That was for reading on May 5th, unfortunately, one of the days I had not read anything. And there was my answer. So here is part of what was written, and I quote, Chaos is all around me. I know this when I feel overwhelmed, muddled, and confused. Dilemmas are a normal part of each day. I treat them as such and take the time I need to find the quietness of God's Spirit which sustains me, end quote. I hope that I can find the time to deal with the chaos of my daily life as noted above and that your lives are sustained by God's intervention as well. You've been listening to Trusting God at All Times, a daily devotional series from Peakland United Methodist Church. If you enjoyed this, please consider sharing it with your friends or subscribe and get instant notifications whenever we post a new one. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.